angels sing There's hope for everyone To announce our King There's hope for everyone What good news they bring There's hope for everyone Angels sing There's hope for everyone They came from afar There's hope for everyone Wise men saw the star There's hope for everyone Shepherds heard the choir There's hope for everyone From afar There's hope for everyone We are waiting on the promise For the one who lights the darkness Bending low to go stand um, to join us this morning. It makes a di big difference for us up here, it seems like. <coughs> child was born to save a world so cold and hollow. A sleeping town they did not know, lying in a major low, a savior king who had no home, has come to heal our sorrows. Is there room in your home? to write his story. Shepherds counting sheep at night, do not fear the glory light. You are precious in his sight. God has come to raise the lowly. to run. 
write his story. You can come as you are. It may set you apart. We'll make room in your heart and trade your dreams for his glory. Make room in your heart. Make room in your heart. He holds tomorrow. Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart for God to write his story? You can come as you are. It may set you for his glory. Make room in your heart. Make room in your heart. I see we have some visitors this morning. Um, why don't we take a minute to, to welcome them here at Nomberg. In the darkness we were waiting to 
King of Kings. <clears throat> oh, come. To all our visitors here this morning, good to see you here and trust you'll sense the presence of the Lord as we worship together. Uh, we have a special service uh, planned for this morning. Uh, the junior department, our junior Sunday school department is going to take charge of the service here in just a few minutes. Uh, they're going to do their birthday offering, which they do each month, and then they have a special Christmas program that they've been working on for uh, several weeks, practicing some songs, doing some memorization. So they'll be sharing with us in just a few minutes. But let's begin with a word of prayer, shall we? Let's pray together. Father in heaven, just uh, what, a, what a blessing it is to be able to gather together this way here this morning. God, we thank you for this day that you've given to us, for the health and the strength that you've given to us to be here. Father, we pray for those that are still traveling here this morning. Keep them safe as they travel, Lord. But Father, most of all, we're grateful that you are present here this morning by your Holy Spirit. And God, we pray that your spirit would just rule and reign in this service this morning, that you would just guide each aspect of it. That God, as we spend this time together here this morning, that we would sense you, we would hear you, we would feel you here today. And God, we pray your special blessing this morning upon the junior department, upon the, the teachers and the leaders, the, the students as they share the program this morning. Just calm any fears or any nerves that they might have and just help them to share with joy uh, the message of Christmas. So Father, just bless this service to that end this morning. Again, we're grateful for it and grateful for each one who is here. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. This time I'm going to call Ryan Zare, our lead Sunday school superintendent, to come forward and he'll take charge of the service at this time. Ryan? To the cross, from the manger to the cross. I never understood why we sing that song at Christmas. Shouldn't we be singing more Christmassy Christmas songs? You know, Away in a Manger, Joy to the World, Silent Night, songs about baby Jesus. That song is about baby Jesus. Only the part about the manger, the rest is about Easter. Before you decide that, let me tell you the Christmas story. Maybe you'll see how that song fits into... Not necessary. I already know both the Christmas and the Easter story, and I'm sure we should be saving that song for Easter. All right. If you're so sure, tell me the Christmas story. Okay, but I'm telling you, Carla, Christmas is all about Jesus' birth. Just go ahead and tell me the story. Well, it all started with this guy named Caesar Augustus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken throughout all the Roman world, and everyone will go to his own town to register. So Joseph went up from Nazareth in Galilee 
to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, to register, because he belonged to the house and line of David. Joseph went with Mary, who was pledged to marry him, and was expecting a child. Six and seven, and while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to a firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
were shepherds living in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the flocks by night. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. This be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Then suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace to man on whom, on whom his favor rests. had left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off to find Mary, Joseph, and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the good news concerning what they had heard about him. All who heard were amazed, but Mary treasured up these things and pondered them in her heart.
And that's pretty much the Christmas story. Well, except for the guys who showed up late to the party. Late to the party? Yeah, you know, the wise men who saw the star and traveled to find him. Ah, you're talking about the Magi from the East. Matthew chapter 2 talks about their visit. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one born to be here the Jews? We saw a star in the east and have come to worship him. Matthew 2, 9 through 11. And they went on the way to the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. They opened up their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. That's it. And just like I tried to tell you, Carla, not one single word about a cross. Now, if you want me to tell you the Easter story, there's definitely a cross in that one. Hold on a minute, Cade. You haven't told me why Jesus was born. Why Jesus was born? Yes. Why? Why did Jesus come to earth as a baby? Do you mean like John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life? Exactly. Jesus was born to give us life. We can't celebrate his birth without celebrating the reason he was born. So, when we sing from the manger to the cross, we don't only remember Jesus' birthday, but we recognize the reason he was born to begin with. Christmas is about his birth, but it's also about his death and his resurrection, the whole reason he came. the manger where the baby laid it's not all about 
about the angels who sang for him that day. It's not all about the shepherds or the bright and shining star. It's not all about the wise men who traveled from afar. The cross is about my sin. It's about how Jesus came to be born once so that we could be born again. It's about the stone that was rolled away so that you and I could have real life someday. It's about the Or the trophies that I want It's not all about the righteousness That I find within It's all about His precious blood Save me from my sin some good questions. Is part of the reason we lose the true meaning of Christmas because we see the miracle baby and forget why? Is that where we end the Christmas story? God came to earth as a baby son, pure and fully God, yet fully human, so that he could live a hard but sinless life, so that he could die innocent, yet carrying all of our sins and visiting hell in our place so that he could come out of the grave, shed of those sins, and prove to us that death is not him. We give gifts to honor God's gift to us. We often refer to that gift as baby Jesus, but oh, it is so much more than that. Look around you. Feel the love. Feel the safety. Feel the hope. Now look up to stage right at the mural created for us by Paula and the children. Christmas, Christ, life eternal. Now, as we take a few seconds to gaze at the reason for the season, join us and sing through the chorus once more.
It's about the cross. It's about my sin. It's about how Jesus came to be born once so that we can be born again. It's about the stone nailed to a tree. about the stone that was rolled away so that you and I could have real life someday. It's about the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for the manger and the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for life. I'd like to invite the congregation to stand as we pray um, as to close out this service. We thank you, Lord, um, for this day. We thank you for this program, Lord, to, as a reminder um, that it's not just about the birth during Christmas. It's about what you did after the birth, Lord. We thank you that you give us life um, and that we have a reason to celebrate for that. We thank you um, that we, as a group of believers, can be here and to worship you and help us to keep our minds on that as we go throughout this Christmas season, Lord. Um, we thank you for all these kids' willingness in, uh, in doing this with us, Lord, and we hope that it was a sacrifice that's pleasing to you, Lord. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, right. Start the next one, 101. If you want to stand with me and sing this. All right, number 101. <clears throat> to us a child of hope is born, to us a son is given. Him shall the tribes of earth obey, him all of heaven, him shall the tribes of earth obey, and all the hosts of heaven, to him may be the 
Prince of Peace, forevermore adored. The Wonderful, the Counselor, the Great and Mighty Lord. The Wonderful, the Counselor, the Great and Mighty Lord. His power increasing still shall spread his reign no one shall know justice shall guard his throne above and peace abound below justice shall guard his throne above and peace abound below thank you, you maybe see